Okay, sound is on. So, let's see what we got here. Today was, I think it got into the high 50s today. It was pretty much cloudy the whole day. Um, but it beats 110 and it beats 10 below zero, so all went well. We had a good training day today. Dogs got out. Everybody seems to be moving along fairly good. in the guest house um, that we're hoping will match up. Uh, we'll know more tomorrow. So hopefully we'll have an <clears throat> another dog going out. Yesterday was Memorial Day and Charlie and I did a couple parades. Charlie was right on key. Not even the gunfire messed with him yesterday, so that worked out really well. That was the only thing I was concerned about. Uh, so that went well. Everybody liked seeing him. Charlie's got a million and one fans all over wherever he goes. Uh, they don't know any idea what my name is, but they all know Charlie. I'm either Charlie's dad or Charlie's handler or Yes, the five older dogs that we have now that were the 215 dogs are all scheduled to be matched. Um, a lot of it's logistics, so. Tell Carlene you said goodbye. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so all the, the five that we got going on, it's a logistical thing now. We're matching up. Um, kind of in that spot where we need to make sure one gets matched up so it doesn't change things as we go along. But we have people scheduled. Uh, Tina, thank you. The angel harnesses. Uh, I don't believe me. I don't forget Tina when when it comes time to for matching and all that. The first person I think about is you. So uh, I will let you know just as much in advance as I can. Uh, we are still working with Emmett. Things are not bad. They're not great, but they're moving along. So we're on key. The hardest thing about training and retraining and um, side training and change training and all this other thing is having patience. You've got to have patience with these dogs.
Yes, the question has to do with when we're feeding. A lot of you will see, I'll put my fingers up. Sometimes I'll do this, sometimes I'll do this, or I'll do this to one dog, that to another dog. I'm trying to get their attention to focus on me, not be distracted by anything else, not to be distracted by the other dog. Um, it's merely for them to focus on me and wait for my instructions to do something. It usually starts with off, if they're anywhere near even a foot up on the stand, or back up, or you'll notice if they're barking at me, I don't feed them when they're doing that because I don't want to reward them for doing that. I will wait for them to stop. And if, I don't know what you can hear on the microphone down there, but they have to stop, whether they're standing or sitting, stop, focus on me, wait for my instructions to say okay, and then you often see me go like that. So they got a visual and they got the audio that it's okay to come up and get the food. That's important. It teaches them to focus on their job and tasks. There have also been times that I have actually not fed one and put them back and then brought one out singular because I didn't like the behavior of one dog. I did that last week one time with two different dogs. And then I brought them out singularly so I could specifically one-on-one -on -one teaching that dog what they're supposed to be doing. Judy says, hi, Annie. <laughs> Annie says, hello. I kind of got the chair right in front. Oh, you probably see Annie, though. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that whole puppy thing, you know, that's kind of a Megan thing. I, I've helped her out with it a few times. Um, something about my voice, it really takes the dogs longer for, for them to hear my voice because it's so deep where Megan and the other ladies here can get that high pitch and that really gets the puppies wound up to follow her. Uh, I don't have as much luck with that. That's why you don't see me working extremely a lot about working with the little pups like they are now. I'll do some corrective actions with them, but for me to get them to follow me like they follow Megan, not as good as Megan. I mean, and I mean, uh, Megan and Devin and Laura, uh, even Pam, and when they do it, they just they do it and it works out really well. Sometimes you have to pick your battles. That's not one I win very often. And the whole duct tape thing, that is so true, but it's so hard to teach people that that's what the problem is. When you're trying to get a dog to listen to you and there's a distraction or another voice or, you know, it could be anything, a pot falling up, you have another distraction in there, it's only common that young puppy is going to go to that distraction. So it's important to only have the one thing going on at a time. It's hard for people to understand sometimes because, especially when, you know, nobody's doing it purposely, but it, it will distract them away from what the, the final task is supposed to be. And believe me, I've done it myself, not just not knowing and forgotten to open my mouth and I should have shut it. Uh, hi, Jerry. Tell Steve I said hello. The other thing when you're doing the feeding is um, I will say wait. You'll see me when I first put my fingers up like that, which is telling me they're off the bench, I'll tell them to wait. Wait is important on so many different things. Even walking, when they start to walk too fast, tug release, wait, tells them to slow down. Between that and the eye contact or what they're learning at the feeder, um, once they get out and start working, a lot of times you'll see the dog will be in line, good position, good pace. The dog will turn its head like that to look at the 
the person that's walking, the handling person, to focus on that person. And then when you start to see them making their own adjustments, you know you've gotten a big step. So audio and visual are both important. I was just gonna ask when you guys come back, seems like I haven't seen you in like six months. Uh, yeah, we're having a little bit of problems with Tanner's scheduling. Um, because it has to work out on both ends, I'm not always needs to be back and we're an hour and a half apart. So even meeting halfway logistically sometimes does not work out. So we're still trying to figure out if that's going to work or not. Um, we'll have to see down the road. Okay, and so I, oh, Pam's here today. Here I am. So <laughs> Pam's gonna fill in. Carly's coming in. Yeah, I think she, I think she does. I'll go grab her. Yep. I'm going the wrong way. I'll go grab her. Get a chair already. Hi, Steve. See you, Annie. Take care. See you in the morning, Steve. Yep. She's up. Oh. oh, my dogs are eating. Uh, <laughs> I am up. Okay. Well, how are we doing? Mail call. Mail call. <laughs> we'll go this way. We'll go this way. And then that will go. I have to say, the thing I use most in this whole place was a long-handled shoe horn. Mm. Somebody gave me, I've forgotten who gave it to me. It is wonderful. Because every time I run in there and take a nap, I take my shoes off. Yeah. Is it a new shoe horn? It's a great big long one. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. I've seen long ones. About I don't have to bend over at all. Like three it's feet long. Just terrific. Yeah, that's about what this is. It's wonderful. Okay, here we go. This is from... Suzanne from Seville, New York. Oops, this is the other end. Okay. We can be adaptable. Oop, there we go. You can have that. You got it? Enclosed, please find. Ten for a chicken brick. A dollar for the fun fund. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Suzanne. We put that in the pot. Where's the pot? We lost the pot. There's the pot. Ah, Jesus. Here we go. Put that on the floor. And then this goes in the chicken brick. Everybody watch me do this. Make sure I got it right. There we go. How's that? And we have some nice poo pickers. The puppy's going to use these great big long ones. <laughs> they have been having squirters. Yes, they have. Squirting ones. Okay, on we go. Linda Buffington from Green Valley, Arizona. She got nice handwriting. Oh. Okay, Here's another one. Mm. Oh, and another two dollar bill. Look at that, will you? Enclosed is my check for chicken brick. And two dollar bill to add to your cash. Thank you for this unique viewing experience on Explore, Linda. What a beautiful handwriting. 
We don't make anything. We don't remember her name. We have to write it for us. Okay, we got this in the pot. And we have somebody from Michigan. Looking for chicken bricks. Canton Town, Michigan, maybe? There we go. Fancy envelopes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh my word. In remembrance of Memorial Day, five chicken bricks, please. Carolyn. Thank you very much, Carolyn. That's very nice. That certainly is a good thing to do, because we do give stuff to veterans. <coughs> and the only reason we can give them to veterans is because all you people send ten dollars once in a while. All right. Um. He's good. I did the meds. Okay. He's all set. I did. I put the guinea hens in, and Laura's doing the chicken. Oh, sweet. Okay, thank you. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah. You said something, didn't you? I did. So a lot of stuff. I just talked a lot so of stuff. Fast. Okay. This is from somebody good in night. Canada. Good night, Annie. Night. Di mm. Diana. I don't know how you pronounce that. That's not unusual. You are checking on all these envelopes. I am checking you? all your envelopes. Isn't that wonderful? Such cooperation is terrific. <laughs> Thank you and all the CA personnel and volunteers for the job well done. I just lost my husband for his, and in his loving memory, I'd, I'd like to get the chicken brick rest is for the fun fun. Two chicken bricks. Huh, this is that Diana that lost her husband? Wow. Sorry to hear that, but at any rate, um, on we go. Um, okay. She didn't say how many. Let me put a five in here. There we go. Okay. Thank you very much. Keep the whole process moving. Online bill payment. Aren't they having fun with so many lovely kids to play with? Good luck. Okay, this is from Bonnie Murray, Sugarland, Texas. Fifty dollars. That's very nice. She didn't say it was for chicken bricks. She didn't say it was for chicken bricks, but you know we got extra chicken bricks a month. We could easily give her some. Sugarland. Texas. Well, if you win it, we'll just have to figure out who you are. There we go. And we have here Jan mailed it on the 26th. There we go. Sure, you're hoping have a better. Sure, hope you're having a better day than I am. Computer problems, a sick cat can certainly turn a good day bad. Well, that's not that's not very good. Cats don't often get sick, though, do they? Anyway, I enjoyed catching Sizzle and the pups. I'm hoping she will be a mother because she sure makes a great aunt. Then there was Mo. She seemed to love being driven being by the driveway and eating all that glorious green grass. Even Sizzle coming up and barking at her didn't faze her. She's very, she's turned into a nice animal, that Mo. She really is doing very well. Because when she came here, if you even touched her rear end, she'd kick at you. Because she'd been mishandled. And so we had to very carefully handle her and pat her and things like that. But today they were crawling underneath her to brush her. And I'm thinking, oh boy, is but she was just as quiet and calm, and she understood that they were just pulling out all her old hair, which I can understand why people had hair mattresses, horsehair mattresses and things, because she put out a bushel basket full, and that was only the start. Mm -hmm. A quiet man is a thinking man. A quiet woman is usually mad. All right. Mm -hmm. What are your strengths is the most common 
ask question in a job interview? I wouldn't know what mine would be. 48% of adults say that not swearing in polite company is the hardest thing to do. Well, then you just go ahead and swear and it becomes easier. Mm -hmm. I do try. Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda are... That's where yours. Oh. They're having political stuff again down there. Oh, this is, no, this is a, this is a real estate guy. One acre something or other, his name is Stuart. And they're drinking Coca-Cola. There we go. That's the report on Harold and Wanda. Uh-oh, here we go. Service dog project. Okay. Okay, well, uh, that's not what we do here, but that's okay. Um, I have only Great Danes that we train. I don't train anybody else's dogs. Okay. Well, we, we breed and train and raise our own uh, Great Danes for service dogs. Well, they're perfectly good dogs. Um, but we just don't, we train our own. We, we got our hands full with what we got going on. Well, good luck. Bye-bye. He's got two Dobermans he wants trained as service dogs. I don't know why it's two. That's the million dollar question. You know, on Facebook when people ask questions, it's always, can you train my dog? Will you train my dog? I need a trainer for my service dog. I need a trainer. Yep. Uh, we I, ten thousand dollars each. I'd be making a fortune, but I really don't want to do that. That's a pain in the neck. Says so got to train. Uh oh. Did you slice it? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's weird. It was me. I cut it. In the yeah, I know. But. Um. At any rate, two chicken bricks, and we'll we'll who, cope with this. Who was that? I'm sorry. Kathy. Kathy Letourneau from the Hunt. Oh, Kathy from the Hunt. I haven't seen her in a while. Well, I tell you what, Linda could struggle with that. I'll put it back in the envelope. Okay. Let Linda deal with it. Her hands may be steadier than mine, but we'll put it in there. Thank you, Kathy. And I put this in there, so. So that should work out. And we have Constance Smith, Wharton, New Jersey. The chicken brick department. We get a lot of chicken brick departments here. That's a good thing. Three chicken bricks. I so enjoy watching your zest and enthusiasm for your many service dog projects around the farm. I learn something new every day. Thanks much much for everything, Lucy Lou. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad you're watching us. Keeps us everybody going straight. Let's see. So that's got to go in here. Do you kids know about the chicken brick stuff? Yeah. You do? Oh, okay. That's what we live on are chicken bricks here. If we didn't have the chicken bricks sold, we would not have service dogs. All these people that send us these envelopes and stuff, they are supporting us. The ones that are watching us, if, if, if it wasn't for them, we would not be because I couldn't afford to pay anybody if it wasn't for them. Harold and Wanda? Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda, eating Cheerios again. Okay, and here we have Michelle Green from Florida. Oh, that's the one that had the torn up one day. We had a terribly torn up envelope from her. Huh. We got a couple envelopes here. Oh, here's New York garlic knot, so this sounds good. I, I do get some ideas on things to eat from these things people send me. That looks kind of good. New York's bakeries, garlic knots. <laughs> Whatever. It's another one from her. She got a couple envelopes here, the same thing here. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, now it's ice cream. Well, we don't need to read about ice cream. We know all about ice cream. That's not new. Okay. She puts it in four different envelopes. That's Taco Bell. Taco dinner kit. Huh. Well, that looks interesting. Uh, then there's mini wheats. <clears throat> and here we go. This is a good thing. Bentley got a good nap here, right? Yep. Honey roasted something or other. Okay. Very good. Okay, now for the boxes. Now for the boxes. You got something from the meds, right? Earlier you picked meds, pet meds maybe? Yeah? Yes, I did get the um, the vaccines. Okay. That's what it was in that, wasn't it, guys? The vaccines? Yeah. yeah. Carlene, that's me. Okay. You want an envelope with Carlene right now? Why not? Why not? Get hold. A chicken brick. One chicken brick is good. Now? Thank you so much for allowing us into your home. I can't get over people allowing us. For, you know? I mean, that's interesting. The staff, the volunteers, and camera people give so much. The love, care, and attention to the animals is always evident. It shows in the amazing work your dogs can go on to do to help their, their partners. I'm enclosing a check for Chicken Brick, along with a supply of poop pickers. And this is from Gloria Moore, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. A lot of people living in North Carolina lately, including my daughter. These are all, these are all packaged. Do you need this for the, the chicken bird or you put the chicken huh? in there? Chicken birds? Chicken bird. Didn't do it right, huh? Uh, okay, I put it in the other one. There we go. These are all, all pre-packaged, very nicely done. These are, these are in-house ones without the bag. That's great. Very good. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And you know... I put it. I'll tell my mind later. I'll tell them later. Okay. Okay. So this is dogs, and it's Kathy. It's either Kathy from Grover Beach or Kathy from Grover Beach. I've run into that problem before. Isn't from a usual name for a second last name for people? From? F-R-O-M-M. -M. Oh, from, yeah. Yeah, I, I knew somebody named From, I think. I think. That's why I get confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, what have we got here? Huh. So we've got... I, okay, I, she told me about this today. This is a small battery charger. So, uh oh, there's something else in there. No. no. Huh. This is. She thought that it would do on my dump trailer. Oh, good. Oh, that's fun. Bod. <laughs> that sounds like a wonderful idea. Yeah. Charge control and battery clamps a 60 inch lead. Huh. Perfect. Sounds like a perfect idea. Thank you very much. And Bud is here today so he can solve it. Although I can't imagine it's much more than just kind of plugging it in someplace. Huh. That interesting. Um, Debbie told me of an interesting thing today. And I took her to the train to the bus stop. 
she was telling me that somebody makes a blow-up thing to put behind the driver's seat and the passenger seat to fill that hole in a car. I've heard of those, yeah. Where, you really? Where, where, get me one! Quick! Two of them! I'll, I'll find one for you online. I'll look it up. Yeah, what do you look up? I'm not sure. I think I saw it on Pinterest, but it's just, it's like a, almost like a swimming flow, and it just inflates and fills the foot holes in the back seat and then the whole back seat, so it's just one big bed for a dog. Right. Yeah, they're really cool. Wonderful. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let me tell you what I've been doing for now, what, 20 years? Is I've been filling it with newspapers and then putting a blanket over the top. Yeah. Um, so it would be flat because the way a person drives a car is one of the things that I have found we have to go over with anybody getting a dog. Mm -hmm. When you drive a car and you, you come to a stoplight, if you put the brake on, eventually you go forward and back. You all should learn how to do that so that you don't move. If you feather it down very, very, even if you're stopping quickly and you feather it down very at the last minute, you don't get this jerking around deal. We have a woman in D.C. whose dog got so terrified she spent $5,000 trying to figure out what was wrong with the dog. Oh, my God. Oh, there was something wrong with his hips and his, they had psychoanalyzed and blah, 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 everything. And she finally came up here with him. I took a ride with her not much further down the block and I said, I know what's the matter with the dog. <laughs> it's the way you drive. And, it, it, you know, she had this jumping around thing. She, she put the brake on and you go flying around. And um, so I put a glass of water on her dashboard and straighten it out and the dog is fine. So you never know what's going to happen. But yeah. that certainly is, there is a way of just tapering. And if you could possibly keep your car rolling, you'll save gallons of gas. You know, just stay way back and just start feathering it. And if you can keep the roll, because you use up an awful lot of gas getting the car into motion. Mm -hmm. That's my lesson for the day. <laughs> Next. Yay. Questions. <laughs> questions. Go ahead. Okay. I have a drink of water. You're going to do questions? I'm going to do questions. I'll take my chair in the way. And I'll take this little one here. You got a tool there? Yep. Did you call in the Chinese food? Well, I figured I could call it in and then go get it. It only That's takes true. like 20 minutes, I was thinking. That's true. So, and then it would be hot. That would be nice. Yeah. But I did start, and then I thought, it's way too early, so. Don't forget to tell them no hots on the shrimp. No hots. I wrote it all out. Because that's very bad when they give you hots. I put my indoor pool pickers on the porch when I was there. Who? Carol, the, uh, who's been visiting on Sunday, put her, she brought pickers, pickers on okay. Sunday. Okay. Um, I put out just a small quantity of poo pickers, folded poo pickers, and with a sign on them, these are how the professionals do it down at the down on the street. They were gone. Yeah. One of the first things to go. Yeah. That was very interesting. I thought the ones with the bags. With the bags. Yep. Yep. They passed the word around. It says, Cami says, the solar panel is best mounted on the front exterior wall of your trailer, yep. right behind your battery box. Yep, I saw Hope that. Hope it works. That's who sent it to you. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you. It certainly is worth the experiment. What is Carlene talking about with the car thing and the newspaper? Okay, well, when you have a dog in the back seat of a car, if you put the brake on too heavily, quickly, hardly, whatever, the dog has got the will get thrown forward and falls into the hole. Yeah. Especially if they're lying on the seat. Um, that was only going to happen about once or twice before the dog kind of gets scared of the whole thing because mm -hmm. they don't understand what's happening. So apparently there is a blow-up thing you can put behind the seat and then have a blanket over the whole thing, and it's a flat surface where the dogs won't fall in that hole. Mm -hmm. um, what I have done in the past is just stack it with newspapers, actually magazines, because I was in the magazine business and had so many magazines that what the heck. Um, but I stacked it with, with something like newspapers and then covered it with a blanket and everything was fine. And if I had to carry the kids or something, I'd just throw away the newspapers and go my merry way. Right. Um, yeah, that's the best part of it. this that. thing, apparently, it's an inflatable, so if you didn't like it, you could just un 
uninflated. Yeah. Yeah. Un unflated? Deflate. Oh, deflate. <laughs> <laughs> deflate. Scrap baskets made of terpurina bags, long handle shoe horns that don't cause back snags, pups with straight hips, and folks that buy chicken bricks. These are a few of Carlene's favorite things. <laughs> right. We have the gift certificate, Linda. Thank you. Are the poo pickers just cardboard? How they scoop? I have two big dogs. The the poo pickers are generally the best. Yeah, okay. They're three inches by six inches. You can scoop Great Dane poop with them even. And then you put it in the garbage bag and tie a knot and then you've contained the, s the smell and everything and flies and whatever else wants it um, and throw it away. Uh, and the way they're cut, they fit in the back pocket of your blue jeans. The three inches is very critical. You could make them longer if you really wanted to, but the three inches by six inches works very well. Oh, wait, hold on. Here's an example of the maybe the inflatable thing. Look at that. Huh. <clears throat> wow. It's got a bump on top. Huh. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Well, that could be interesting. Okay, now what? Oh, jeez. Well, I had told Debbie to go find them and send it to me. Let's see what she finds, and they're gonna, you're going to find one too, aren't you? You're going to find out about yeah. them and send it to me. This one looks very yeah. complicated. Yeah, I'll look it up when you help us all out. Fuganet said she sent pee pads, four of them, delivered yesterday noontime. Have we received them? They're not in the kiosk or the down below. No, 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 we didn't get them. Um, someone just found out Friday that their almost four-year-old Great Dane has heartworms, heartbroken, but hopeful after this two-week round of antibiotics and steroids, he will do great with treatments. He's an inside dog and was on preventative uh, and still got them. I know you give yours preventative, and I hope you never have to deal with this. I've had, I've had to deal with it in my life. It has not been as bad as they make out. Yeah. An awful lot of dogs live with heartworm without any problem. I, uh, I don't know. You end up taking your veterinarian's word for it, but I personally, I would go out and start reading because it sounds absolutely dreadful. But when you figure that, for my entire life until I got to be like seventy, dogs lived with heartworm. Yeah. Yeah, because they I never don't died. Know they, actually lived, got... they actually lived a longer time than they do now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I wonder how many worms people have. Mm -hmm. I used to worm my kids when they were little. With worm what? the dogs. Huh? With what? Worming. You can get it. Worming. Human wormers? Yeah. Hmm. I never heard of such a thing. Oh, pinworms? My God, you come back from kindergarten. Kindergarten kids, they all have worms. Hmm. You don't usually know it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I knew if I had worms. Well, I, you know, I knew how many were, I was worming the horses, the donkeys, the vet, the dead dead. I would not worm the kids. Why, why right. would they be any different, no. you know? Yeah. I did, my children. I also gave them knit shampoo. Which shampoo? The, for for the lice? Yeah, for lice. Yeah. About, you know, every yeah. couple months or something. Yeah. Here, well, horse with this. What yeah, that's a good you idea, know? I think. You know, when they're running around the kid, kindergarten, they, they carry everything around. Yeah. Like doggy daycare, they come home with bugs. Yeah. <laughs> um, they someone uses a strap that clicks into the seatbelt to keep the dog in place while driving. It clips onto your purple harness very no. nicely. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. They're just telling you. Yeah. Cabela's has a hammock you can get for the back seat. It keeps your seat and floor clean, especially if you have muddy hunting dogs. Yeah, you gotta fill that hole. Yeah, I, I know what they're talking. I've seen those things. Uh, and my <laughs> my seats are muddy. Uh, where is the dump trailer when not in use? Right down here, right now. It's, it's in the sun right now. 
Um, there's a lot. Petco car, seat extender, someone Googled, and uh, back seat car, inflatable air bed mattress, and there are several choices. Okay. And the weight, oh, Carlene, the weight of those newspapers used extra gas. That's what they're telling me. Yep. Carton of magazines. Oh, yeah, yeah. She said it was delivered yesterday and it was a holiday. We didn't have any deliveries at all yesterday. No. Someone said they slammed on their brakes once and their dog ended up on the back on the floor between the front and seats and he couldn't get up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I drive. My roommate always at, with sometimes will say, can we, can we drive like the dogs aren't in the car? <laughs> Because I drive like a, I drive really careful. I mean, yeah. I just, we're just we coast, we go slow, we just. You probably get better mileage. I jeeps aren't notorious for great mileage, but I get the full amount of mileage I yeah. should get. And they and because I basically Martha stands a lot, and I just she did she never, I never like yeah. stumbles. That's my goal. It's like you know. Um, have to share this experience. I used to take Odie for car rides, had a leash hook uh, um, set up for the back seat. Once I was going up a small hill where you couldn't see what was ahead, I wasn't going fast because there's a hunting club nearby and sometimes there's a pheasant or two. Well, when I got to the top of the incline, there were pheasants everywhere and I hit the brakes hard and slid down the road. And when I finally stopped, Odie was sitting in the front passenger side with a don't ask me, I don't know how the heck I got here either look. <laughs> she wasn't her and still loved her rides. I don't, hurt. She wasn't hurt and still loved her rides. It's when they get upside down and can't get up. Yeah. In the back. That, that's a bad thing. Yeah. Well, Jack Russell will turn around and get up, but a great day with four feet in the air. Would be stuck. No problem. I have a friend from the Philippines, and it's common for the kids to have worms. Uh, why wouldn't it be here? Yeah, someone said they used to get stuff for pinworms spring and fall. And for all I know, I got worming. I have no, I mean, I have no recollection. No, you wouldn't know. Here, take yeah. this pill. Yeah. And when my kids were young, we went through a session of swallowing M&M's whole just to practice swallowing pills. I wasn't going to have a kid that said, I can't eat the pill. No, swallow it, you know? Yeah. So we went through a learning process of <laughs> swallowing evidence whole. That was a good one. Yeah, well, you know, get them young, train them early. Right. Uh, with the heavy tick problem this year, how are you monitor monitoring the dogs for... We uh, have pulled, what, the fourth tick off Sizzle now. Oh. I knew she had a couple before. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, she just had one today. Oh. Uh, we just have to it keep checking. It seems to be her. Of course, has anybody looked at the rest of them? Uh, we would have noticed. I think so, because I've sent out a note telling folks to check mm -hmm. dogs. Be aware of ticks. Pay attention. Um, as a reminder, uh, my dad's dog, oh, someone's diagnosed with untreatable leukemia, and their dog has 10 days left. That's the diagnosis. Um... Message says, left in mailbox at 1214 on 529. That's on the pee pads. I would follow up. We don't have any pee pads around that I've seen. Nope. People have worms. Something to check if you have an unexplained sickness. Okay, am I... See, if I missed anything, let me know. Um, could you use an expensive water floats covered with a blanket to fill the gap between the seats? If they're the right shape, sure. Yeah. Do donkeys get ticks and fleas? They don't get fleas that I know of. Apparently they get ticks. I haven't heard of it. And I did I did ask the veterinarian about that, and he's, he dismissed it and said I didn't have to do anything about it. I can't remember whether he said they're not responsive to it or whatever, but... Hmm. He basically said, don't worry about it. I like that kind of advice. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, so um, Blue Penguin's uh, dog had heartworm. The challenge was keeping a rat terrier calm for 30 to 40 days. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
I don't know. I notice the folks send you poop pickers. Are they cutting them out of cardboard to send it? They're usually they're cereal boxes. They're the, are the very best ones because they have, they come out with just a little bit of fuzz on the end, and they really kind of wipe the floor at the same time. Yeah. Oh, they definitely do. Scooter Karen said she found one on the donkey. I'm assuming a tick. She found a tick on the donkey. She just said, I found one on the donkey, I'm assuming. Was it, was it embedded? I don't know. I don't Scooter know. Karen, was it embedded? And then she will find out. <coughs> it might have been delivered to the UPS store. Possible. This person said that her dad wormed everything on two or four legs every six months when they were in Malaysia. And the kids were trained to look behind before flushing once a month. Once in a while, someone would yell, somebody waved. Gross. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> um, how do you monitor the dogs for, what is that, Ehrlichia? Ehrlichia. Ehrlichia. Ugh. Ehrlichia is not a good thing. Ehrlichia is, it um, uh, cuts the, the clotting time so that they end up with ble bloody noses. And oh, no. They can bleed out. We, we did lose a dog a long time ago to Relicia. Oh, I just want to say um, it got clean. It's one of those long <coughs> things. The first you just got to watch. Mm. I love cuddling. for it now. Oh, they do? Enjoy your dinner. That sounds like a good idea. I like that one. Okay, we're going to order Chinese. Thank you very much. And Haley's on overnight. Oh, really? <coughs> <clears throat> yep. Oh, good. We're changing it up. So stay tuned.